right, what we have here is a practice pitching mound. It's uh, framed up with CCA treated lumber and plywood, uh, two by tens, so it's about 10 inches tall. The first two feet is a flat deck, and the last six feet from there down is tapered from the 10 inch height down to the ground. Uh, as you can see, I haven't, quite, I haven't got the uh, last piece of plywood screwed down. And the reason for that is I've got a mechanism inside there with a wheel that I want to be able to show you before I put that on. Now, as you might imagine, anything this big that's made out of treated lumber is going to be really heavy. And technically this is supposed to be a portable pitching mound. So to help make it more portable, I've added some landing here in the form of a, a wheel that can swing down through the frame and lock and stick out about two inches. Uh, so that it uh, makes it a little bit easier for one guy to drag around. But, and the reason the wheel retracts is that you'll notice when it's up, this thing being 10 inches wide, it can balance on edge. So if you want to store it in the garage out of the way, you just stand it on edge and retract the wheel. So the way this works, when you're ready to move it, you just step down on that. Now it's up on the wheel. I don't know if you can see it or not. If I lean it back, you might see the wheel sticking out there. And you can grab the front end of this uh, toward the front of the ramp and just uh, move it around like a wheelbarrow. When you get it where you want it, you're ready for it to stand on edge. Just retract the gear and you're good. I went ahead and, and put this up on blocks so you can see the, the wheel move. Uh, when you're ready to deploy the wheel, you step on it and the wheel is stuck out the bottom. Um, when you're ready to uh, retract it, you just push that back and it retracts itself. If I just do this, let it pop up and it'll stay inside there when you lay it down. Okay, let me give you a little more detail on this mechanism. I uh, have a pair of 2 by 4s this is all treated lumber, and I use some 5 8 rod for shafts. Uh, I bought the wheel at Harbor Freight. It's a steel wheel with a solid tire, uh, 5 8 bearings. It's a little heavier and wider than I'd hoped to get, but the next smaller or narrower tire was really all plastic. So this will hold up a lot better, I think. Um, I, put a, I just put a steel door hinge at the top of, of this part with one bungee cord that just pulls it uh, tight to the front. I ended up using two bungee cords uh, to hold this up because this tire weighs, I don't know how much, it's, it's, it's heavy. Uh, and one wasn't enough to hold it up. Um, so what would happen is when you lay the pitcher's mound down flat, this wheel would go ahead and slide out and lock. And I don't want, don't want it sticking out where the kids will be using it for a step and bending the shaft or something. So uh, the, 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 the hole for the tire ended up being about three inches wide and I don't know, I would say eight inches long probably somewhere in that neighborhood. And I had it tapered in from both sides so the outside hole is as small as it can be. Um, it's a little like I say, it's more than I wanted to cut out of the frame, but I don't think it'll be a problem because most of the weight on it's going to be out in this middle area above the wheel. So that's kind of what it is. I got some blocking in between the two two befores up here, and this blocking here fits tight between the top and the bottom and is screwed through from the back. Um, I used 5 8 holes through the, through the lumber, but as you know, treated lumber is wet and as it dries, it shrinks. Uh, so from the time I started to the time I got ready to finish this, uh, I couldn't hardly get the pins out of it. So I ended up taking a spindle sander and, and widening out those holes, but they left them fairly sloppy. So hopefully as, they, uh, as that continues to dry, uh, they won't tighten up in there and bind up. I also rubbed some paraffin uh, on this board and the inside of these boards uh, where they rub against each other as this goes up and down. Uh, just to give it a little more lubrication. So that's that's basically it. And it, it seems to work okay and it's strong enough. Um, the only problem really with pulling this thing around is it's really top heavy and kind of clumsy. You almost need a second guy just to help balance it. But uh, if you're determined you can you can do it by yourself.